In today's video, we feature St. Jean Elizabeth Lucy Bichier de Ages, whose feast day is celebrated every August 26. Elizabeth, as she is fondly called by her family, was born on July 5, 1773, in the Chateau des Ages, home of her aristocratic family near the village of Le Blanc in the central Loire Valley in France. She was baptized that same day at the local church of Saint Genitor and was raised by her mother to be a religious person, taught how to pray and the basics of the Catholic faith. Elizabeth witnessed closely and was personally affected by the events of the French Revolution which shook France. After the death of her father, Elizabeth and her mother moved to the family's country home in Bethines called La Guimetière in 1796. From her childhood, Elizabeth had been attracted to contemplation and she had consecrated herself to the Virgin Mary. Her wish was to consecrate her life to God in an enclosed religious order. She then decided to begin a ministry of teaching and serving the poor. During this period, she gathered groups of faithful in the town, which was at this point without a priest or community of religious, and organized meetings of prayer, studying of the scriptures, and singing hymns. One day, a former servant informed Elizabeth that a refractory priest and a known underground pastor of Maillet named Father Andrew Fournet would be presiding over a secret Mass. After the Mass, Andrew heard the confessions of the congregation including that of Elizabeth. It is said that Elizabeth opened her heart to Andrew. She shared her longing to dedicate herself to God. He asked her to open her home for the catechesis of the local children. Elizabeth asked the permission of her mother, who agreed to this project, and a small school slowly began to develop at La Guimetière. With the signing of the Concordat of 1801 between France and the Holy See under Napoleon, the Catholic Church was able to resume public activities. Elizabeth used her influence to ensure that one of the new missionary centers being established to revive the faith be located in Bethines. Andrew was one of the priests who were based there. After her mother died in 1804, Andrew proposed that Elizabeth recruit a group of women who would dedicate their lives to the mission. She found four other companions for this venture, and the following year, she and her servant, Marianne Meunier, went to the Congregation of Divine Providence in Poitiers to learn the fundamentals of consecrated life. When they returned to La Guimetière in 1806, they were joined by two of her friends, Veronique de Laverne and Madeleine Moreau. Andrew soon realized that Elizabeth was the one that God had called, to lead a community of women he had gathered. In February 1807, the five community members professed religious vows. With the help of Elizabeth, Andrew established the new congregation, which will be known to the world as the Sisters of the Cross, whose members profess public vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience, and follow the evangelical way of life in common. The small community began to expand quickly, and the schools began to multiply where the daughters could exercise their ministry to the poor and needy. In 1816, the community received ecclesiastical approval and by 1820, acquired a former monastery of the Order of Fontevraud in La Puya, where their motherhouse was established. Within ten years, there were over 60 communities of Sisters of the Cross and in 1867, the Sisters of the Cross, Sisters of St. Andrew, received its pontifical status. During the time of Elizabeth's death on August 26, 1838, there were about 600 Daughters of the Cross serving in some 100 communities, with more than 60 houses all over France. Elizabeth was beatified by Pope Pius XI in 1934 and canonized by Pope Pius XII in 1947. Her remains are enshrined at the Mother House in La Puya. The Sisters of the Cross, Sisters of St. Andrew's Community reached some 3,100 at the start of the 20th century, with 430 houses. They currently serve or have served around the globe in France, Spain, Italy, Hungary, Belgium, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Uruguay, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, China, and Thailand. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.